Salut tout le monde! So we've got another unboxing today. Technically we'll have two. There's actually two boxes in here, but I'm going to split them up into two videos just for the ease of it. Um, now this is from Treasure Studios Art, and I'm just going to, I already opened the end of it, and what I'm going to do is just pull out the first one, or maybe both, because they're going to come out together, I don't know. Okay, that was a struggle and a half, but it, I, I'm going to consider that a good thing because, um, yeah, the last package I got from them came pretty battered, so yay on this one. It's, it's not perfect. There are still dents and stuff, even though it was two bags within a box, or rather two boxes within a bag within a box, but here it is. So Treasure Studios Art is considered a very well-respected company in the diamond painting community. Apparently their quality is supposed to be really good, both for the canvas and the drills. This is technically part of my first order from Treasure Art Studios. I had ordered a partial and I will show you the, the link for the unboxing up there somewhere. Um, so things that were made in one factory or pre-packaged were shipped all by themselves and then the two diamond paintings full drill that I ordered and that are particular to Treasure Studios art um, they didn't ship so I had a back and forth with customer service and I was told they are not supposed to do partials that shouldn't have been done and then right away they shipped my two other paintings out so it was a mixed reaction. I was not happy with the partial painting I got from uh, from excuse me Treasure Studios Art. They gave me a full refund. Um, the person I spoke to was awesome, so that went fine. So a lot of people love Treasure Studios Art. Really hail their quality. So it's time to find out for myself. Uh, and again, they have licensed and what they call signature images. My assumption is that they're signature images. Um, are particular and unique to their shop, maybe their own design. At least that's, that's how I understood it. So this is one of their signature images. There's um, no, it just a signature, there's no artist listed or anything like that, so I don't know if it's just stuff that they're licensing. But here we go. Oh, initial impressions of the canvas are good. We're just going to unroll this. And there's the drills in a really long bag. Oh, separate baggies. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, can we fit this all in frame? Well, nope. Okay. Okay, zoomed out a bit here so you can see. I'm going to toss those aside. And am I on the correct way? Yes, let's flip her over. <gasps> oh, pretty. <gasps> That's really nice. Um, hopefully it's showing up on camera. I have some doubts about the charting in here. So the image is essentially landscape, a field with a tree, and there's what I'm assuming to be a young girl with um, heart balloons. So in the background you're seeing the sky. Now what concerns me is that this is supposed to be a book. So the idea is that, you know, the, the book is the adventure, the escape, and that's what's coming out of it. But there's a lot of really dark areas, and is this like, is this supposed to be another page? Like I'm not sure what's going on here. Other than that initial, like, oof, this plastic cover is smooth. Um, okay, so the, the glue does go past the edges. That's never bothered me. That's nothing a little uh, washi tape won't help you out with while you're working. Canvas is in good quality. You can see I'm pulling it and wrinkles are coming out. So very, very pretty. 
even from here you can see that the drill or rather the yeah the the drill area the symbols are quite clear but let's let's peel some of this back again and just take a look Ooh, that glue is so nice and shiny really good you're not seeing any pock marks in the glue it's super smooth let's check that tackiness very nice i'm not i'm putting a very light pressure i'm literally just placing my finger on it so that's really nice and clarity of symbols very very good nothing is blurry they're all fairly easy to read check a couple other sections yeah even in these dark places right here it's really not that bad at all so that's great i'm really happy about that so the canvas is, again treasure studios art we're seeing their logo at the top so this is definitely one of theirs this is a different factory than the partial which i think it's like they they market and distribute but i don't think they they're involved in the manufacturing process i don't think they can control that with the partials all right, so let's get intimate with some drills. We do have an inventory sheet. Yay! And, oh, that's what I was looking for. So the measurement of the piece is 40 by 70, and she is a round canvas. And it's called A Story of a Little Girl. So that'll give you an idea of the size. There are 25 colors. This is a big painting for 25 colors, so you're going to get lots of probably color blocking. And this is really interesting. So again, this is the first time I've received from um, Treasure Studios Art. I will do the inventory in a moment, but let's just take a look at these colors. Uh, I personally, I like it when they're in baggies like this. It's less mess. It's less crinkling, uh, and I reuse all the baggies. So even if I don't work out of the bags, I, I will put them in my own little containers. It's still, I think, honestly, look how much easier it is for me to be going through these drills. Um, a lot less noisy, too. So 310, so that's not a bad pack. That's pretty, that's pretty good. So we're seeing that it's going to be, again, in the warm tones, a lot of fall or autumnal colors. Um, so you're doing those, oh, there we go, nice deep red. You're doing burgundies and browns, oranges. So I think this would be a good one to do in the fall. Be kind of matching your drills up to the season. And I'm really, I mean, the quality of these drills is really good. Uh, well, the next dark color I come across, we'll take a better look at them. But so far, so good. I've been kind of like peeping them as they come through, and it's looking pretty good. So, so far already, my experience is better than with the partial. Ooh, that is so nice. That is actually a nice pinky red. Another brown. Gorgeous yellow. I feel like you can see the drills a lot better too in these little baggies. Let's go back to the black. Oh no, sorry. Okay, anyways, this is a deep brown, 3371. But over so there's not a lot of trash everything i'm seeing is good there aren't major like edges or tabs they're fairly circular so i'd say this looks pretty good i'm quite happy with this so let's do the inventory now, generally speaking, when it's in baggies like this, it's because it's done by weight. So the idea is that they've given you um, probably the weight of the drills you need plus a little additional. You, some places do an additional 10%, some 15 Someone told me Diamond Art Club does a 30%. Totally possible. So in this case, there's no number of bags to count. And you can't, I mean, unless you're going to weigh it and you're told how much it weighs type of thing. Um, you won't necessarily, actually, I should not want to do this on the canvas. 
So, um, yeah, so you're not going to be counting the number of bags per color. What you're just going to do is make sure that you have at least one baggie for every color. You have to hope that you have enough in there, and generally you will. I've heard Treasure Studios art is pretty good. Um, so that's it. The idea is you just want to make sure there's no colors missing, and then you'll be able to store it and not worry about if you go back to it a year down the line. So that's it. I have enough baggies, one for each color, and that's good. That sets me in the right direction. It's no up close and personal with the canvas in the sense that there are no AB or Aurora Borealis drills on this painting. They are strictly regular drills. But that's it. I actually think this is really pretty. The quality of the drills impresses me right now. The clarity of the drill field and the symbols is really good. So looks like this is going to be a positive experience. So as an initial impression, looks good. Thanks so much for watching. À la prochaine.